Successive buying options involves three things. You need to find a target stock price, pick the required amount of time to reach your target stock price, and then choose the right option. This is a normal options chain. Stock price, expiration date, and a lot of prices. It's the tool everyone uses to choose the option they want to trade. It's also the place where almost everyone gets confused, where investors are left with the simple and obvious question, which option do I buy? Unfortunately, options education doesn't give you an answer, leaving most people guessing. And guessing leads to guaranteed losses over time. This new options chain helps you choose the right option while teaching you how to navigate the process yourself. A few things have been added. Here's where you'll express your unique view on the stock. This area simply shows you the market sentiment. Where you find the data, we simply shaded everything except these two windows. For calls here and puts here. This is the stock price in white. Finally, we have this column, the risk reward break even price or RR dollar. This is the market's expectations. It's the price at expiration built into that particular option, which balances the risk and reward. It's very important to know this price. So how do you find opportunity? Your unique view will create a pointer and you want the pointer to land in one of those windows. Why is that? Because that's where the smartest investors in the world buy options. How do you get the pointer there? First, let me ask you, what is your unique stock view? You need a target stock price and your confidence level on reaching that target. Then you'll choose the amount of time you'll need. This establishes the pointer that will dictate some level of mathematical edge where the reward outweighs the risk. Let's use a target stock price of 232. It's higher than the current stock price, so you're looking at calls. The puts get shaded and the pointer lands here. It has some mathematical edge, but it's not in that window. You'll see a warning sign pop up to help you understand why that option isn't ideal. So how do you get the pointer in that window? You can use a higher target stock price. More specifically, you can look at the RR dollar column to guide you. The risk reward break even price on the first option is 233.12. If we change the target stock price to something higher than that, for example, 235, you can see that the pointer moves to higher strikes. Pick a very high target stock price like 242 and you'll see the pointer move further away, perhaps even outside the window. In this case, another warning sign will pop up, making sure that you double check your thoughts because your expectations exceed what the market is expecting by a wide margin. Now, how else can you move that pointer? Try changing the confidence level. Greater confidence in your target stock price will allow you to get more aggressive in your choice of option, pushing the pointer to higher call strikes. Less confidence will bring it back in. Either way, your unique view determines whether or not you have edge. Now, there are some more details about edge that you can see by pressing here. Once opened, you'll see the strike, the premium, which you can change to bid price or the mid market price, the percentage probability of being in the money, the risk reward break even price, and these three columns, the OMS, edge percentage, and actual percentage. In the education area, there are several short videos that will further explain what they are and how you can use them to better analyze your decision. For a full explanation, watch eight steps to understanding options. If you're familiar with options, then you can start at step five. It's that simple. You want the pointer to find edge here, just like the smartest investors do. The pointer is there to reflect your unique view on the stock. And it's important to understand that when compared to the market's expectations, your unique view on the stock is what creates the opportunity. This new options chain shows you if, where, and how much opportunity exists. It finally teaches you how to shift the odds in your favor.